Hello again. I hope you're having a great day. It's Mark with Herdsman Foods uh, coming back at you today with a little video on um, curing uh, pork. So this is something that I've been doing. Um, I think the first time I did it was probably about two years ago, I want to say, and uh, I had some good success. I, I learned a lot in my first time. And so now I am currently... Um, I'm doing about five different uh, pieces of pork um, and it's curing at different levels or aging at different levels, I should say. And I want to talk a little bit about the process because you'll find tons of different ways to do this. Um, this is the way I do it. Um, it's the way I, I feel comfortable because it's a simple process. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of brain power from me. And it, it's, I do what I like, you know, I, I do it the way I want to do it. So what I do is I go out first of all, and I get the cheapest pork I can find. And usually it's about 99 cents a pound. I can find it 99 cents a pound for a pork butt or a picnic roast, something like that. And uh, whenever it's that way, I buy it because the cheaper, the better. Okay, because you're gonna you're gonna count on the aging process and the curing process to really add the flavor to this, and and hopefully you enjoy this. Um, I think you know people are calling this char charcuterie at this point. It, it's cured meat, and it's awesome. It's tasty, and and that's why I do it um, strictly for me <laughs> and some of my students. Uh, some of my students at school are actually uh, I have some really cool students that are really into. Um, these kind of things, you know, we do food uh, taste tests and stuff. So a little shout out to my, my kids, uh, my students, high school kids, uh, to all you guys, uh, my uh, uh, computer science students and my marketing kids. So uh, love you guys. And, uh, you know, uh, you're going to have some of this meat, by the way. All right. So um, I'm going to show you a couple of the cuts, first of all. Um, so here's the process I use. I, there are a couple different ways that you can uh, cure your meat and that there is an equilibrium method and then there's just a, a salt immersion method. Equilibrium method, you have to weigh out exactly the amount based on how much pork you have, the, exactly the amount of salt and pepper, whatever you want to use to cure your meat to use, okay? I choose to do the salt immersion. Um, I've done the uh, cure, actually one of these is uh, equilibrium method, um, this one right here. Um, and I'll show you that one here in a minute. But for the most part, I just do the salt immersion. And what I do is, it, once again, it's eyeballing, okay? Um, I get a big container, I get a bunch of salt. Um, and I, I like to use sea salt uh, because I get it uh, for a really good price, a big pound of sea salt I get for a buck. And I like to use that because it really tends to pull the moisture out really well with the pork. So I'll put it in there for gosh, anywhere from five to seven days, just depending on really what it is, it's you know, it's feel. You know, you got to feel how the meat feels. Um, and, and I feel, I get it to a point where it's firm um, and, and it feels like I've gotten most of the, uh, a, lot, a lot of the moisture, the initial moisture out. I, I you know, it's, it's cured at that point. So then you've got the aging process. So that's usually five to seven days. Sometimes it takes a little longer. And people say, well, if you're immersing it in salt, you're going to get that salt flavor. You know, it's going to be too salty. Too salty is not an issue, in my opinion, when you're dealing with uh, aged meats that are, you know, you're going to you're gonna serve these paper thin slices. So yeah, it's going to be salty. Prosciutto is salty. All, all of your cured meats are salty. This is no different than that. And I, I don't find a huge issue, um, you know, with, with the saltiness. I, I, I think, if anything, it, it adds to the flavor. Um, so you cure it for the uh, five to seven days. <clears throat> then what I like to do is I like to rinse it off, get all the, the salt, get all the seasonings off that I have used, and uh, rinse those off, dry it off again. And then I do give it a wine bath. Um, and I use a, a sweet white wine that I just kind of rub all over it. Um, not, not so much a bath. I'm not immersing it in it. I just kind of rub the white wine in there um, and then I dry it off. Now, here's where you got to make a decision. If you want to cure it with more herbs, you, you could put more herbs on for the actual process. Or if you want to leave some of the, uh, the herbs that you had on it before, don't rinse it off. Just go ahead and wrap it at that point. And at that point, I'm going to take cheesecloth. Okay, here's my cheesecloth and I wrap this up real tight. 
Um, and here, I took one out for you, okay? This is cheap cut of meat, okay? You can tell it's kind of cheap, a lot of fat on there, and I leave the fat on. Um, you can see I got some good mold growing here, starting right there. But the smell of this is just wonderful. I, I just absolutely want wonderful. This one is, how far along are we? This one is 11% done. So this has got a long way to go. We're going to cure this until the weight is um, 35. It's lost 35%. Now, some people say 30%. I like to take it to 35%. Uh, I'm going to let it age till it's at 35% weight, and I'm going to weigh it on my scale about once a week just to see how it's going. This one's at about 11%. It's been about <clears throat> a little over a month, okay? So it's a, it's a time commitment. You know, this is not something that's going to go quickly. Um, let me show you this one. This one is at 19%. <clears throat> and this one, in my opinion, is just gorgeous. I just love this. <clears throat> I got some good mold growing here. You can see little little bits of mold there on the edges here. Okay. And once again, oh, oh my gosh, it just smells so good. Just smells so good. And so this guy is uh, about almost uh, two thirds of the way there. And uh, then I'm going to be slicing him nice and thin um, and uh, eating that one. Um, so those are two of the, the ones that I've got here. And then I also, uh, these are, these, the, the, the uh, green things are from, uh, wine bottles. And, uh, occasionally if I have those, I'll wrap these in there as well. Here's another one. And then a uh, little fatter one here as well. Um, these are all at between 12 and 19%. This is a big one. Looking forward to this. This one is at 17%, so she's about halfway there. Uh, really firm. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Cannot wait. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, that is that is my delving into cured meats. Um, I hope you give this a try. I, I think it's a, it's a great way, especially the, during these times when we are strapped for money, you know? to get something a little fancy, to get to get something a little unique in our lives and, and not just, you know, that buying the cheapest stuff we can, we're still buying the cheapest stuff, but we're making it into something that's amazing. Uh, and I, uh, I highly recommend this. Um, look at YouTube videos, you know, that are how to's on how to do it. Um, you won't regret it. it. It's just a lot of fun. It's a time commitment, no question about it, but I think you'll enjoy it. So, Hopefully, uh, I'll give, do a follow-up video on these when probably in about a month, I'll do a follow-up video showing you exactly how these turned out and get some nice slices out of that. Uh, and uh, I, I think you'll enjoy it. I hope you do this. Anyway, that is all from Herdsman Foods today. If you like what you see, please uh, <clears throat> click that subscribe button. Hit the bell so that you get uh, notifications whenever I uh, upload a new video. If you have some ideas for what you'd like to see on this channel, let me know in the comments below. I respond to all comments, uh, be it a, a happy face or a, a thumbs up. Uh, but I'd love to get some more likes on this video as well, so do so if you like what you see. And until next time, <laughs> I will see you. I'm, I'm trying to not say uh, don't be afraid to join the herd. So I gotta, if you have an idea what I can say to close out the videos, let me know. But for now, it's Mark from Herdsman Food. Thanks for joining me today. Take care, you guys.